Hey everyone, it is NAACP Image Awards weekend. We are talking to so many of the nominees, all the stars right here on the red carpet. Make sure you stay tuned for our exclusive interviews. It is an exciting night. It's really nice to see you. Yes, yes. you you've you been making us laugh from behind the screen, and so it's nice to see you in, in the flesh. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. You know, you know, I, this is my first award that I'm supposed to be receiving, so we'll see. I gotta, I just hope that God lets me win tonight, you know? Dude, you know, we, we battling with Keith Lee, though. The people like him. The Keith, hey, come on now. I like both of you, though. There's a, there's no competition for real. For oh, no, it is. <laughs> nigga, I'm coming to get with a nigga when I'm old. Now, don't play with it. You just shot out of your Could've series. Been. Could yes. have been records. Yes. Yes. And you did a whole series on YouTube. Yes. Yes. It was it was kind of like inspired by like American Idol. I grew up watching American Idol. I grew up watching uh, Making the Band with P. Diddy. So it's like all that stuff inspired me to just come out with like a spinoff of my own show, man, and do it in like a funny way. So that was all I could do. You know, I, I'm just blessed that I was able to have the money to do so because I ain't we ain't had no budget. We did this all ourselves, so. You're showing other creators that you don't have to wait on oh, yeah, a big yeah. studio yeah, yeah. To, to chase your dreams or to create yeah, content. Yeah, yeah. You know? I, I started all doing this with my phone like at my mom's house, so it, it never is too much to do. It's like, brother, pick that phone up, get grinding, stay consistent, and just do that shit. You know, that's all. That's how I feel about it, man. You got You got Somebody got to believe me. If you don't believe in yourself, then hey, that's, that's where it started. That's where it all starts, so yeah. Hello, beautiful. It is so exciting to see you here You're again. Beautiful as well. You are beautiful today. Thank you. You are just break a breakout star. You are nominated two times this year and you are the first of your kind ever to be nominated for an NAACP award. How does that feel? You know what? I really feel like completely shocked, especially in the beginning to be nominated twice. I feel extremely honored to be here and I'm like, I can't believe I did this. I am here at the NAACP Awards. This is a very cool experience. It's a new opportunity for me. And you are making at history as the first deaf nominee at the NAACP Awards. You are opening so many doors for other youth, other women and young youth of color. How does that feel? You know what, I feel really, really extremely, I don't even, it's hard for me to explain the feeling really. It's so important to me to be part of this moment. I feel happy that I'm able to do this and that I'm able to help some people in this way. I also feel it's just important to other people. This opportunity is important for them for the black deaf community. So it's just an extreme honor to be here. It's so great to see your journey. What's the, what's the secret? Uh, praying, praying. Uh, I pray a lot. I pray more than people know. So uh, I think that's just doing what I feel like I'm called to do. Listening to that voice, being obedient, uh, and just remaining myself in, in any circumstance, under any pressure. Uh, there is no pressure unless you allow it to be. Do you think people resonate most with your authenticity online, or do you think it's the food? I think it's just me. It's me being myself. It's me walking in the path I'm supposed to walk in, and me unapologetically always being who I'm, always, who I always been, who I always will be. Do you have like a, a formula to when you're creating these videos? Like, are you like, okay, I'm gonna talk about the smell, the aroma, the taste? Like, is there is there a the formula? There? Uh, it's definitely a formula. It's. As much as it looks like I'm just eating food, which I am, it's a lot of professionalism that goes behind it. I've been a professional fighter for 10 years, so I take professionalism into everything that I do, uh, and I'm very meticulous about the way that I do things. That's why the, the zooms that you see and the, the sound effects that you see, I edit everything. So everything is very intentional and everything is very purposeful. Uh, and the biggest thing is highlighting the food and highlighting the story behind the food and really showing the people behind the small business owners. You're hosting the event tonight. There's so many deserving people, nominees here tonight. How does that feel to be able to host an event where we're celebrating us? I love it. You know what? Because it's like a family reunion. Like, you look like my cousin. You come in. so important and I don't call Garcelle a lot because we're both so busy but she called me yesterday 
she texted me and she said, I just need you to know you're on my mind and, and I'm thinking about you and I love you so much. And it means a lot. It means so much, especially like you were saying, when you're in the hustle and bustle, it means so much to have somebody say, I see you, I feel you, I know what you're going. But just, you know, a friend is somebody that doesn't get, they don't get mad because you don't call. They don't get upset. They know, they understand. And we've had a friendship since the Jamie Foxx show. She's one of my bestest friends in the world. And I rejoice with my girlfriends and they rejoice for me. So just to know that I talked to her for two hours yesterday and she's here. We're loving Survival of the Thickest, but you're working on some new projects in 2024. Do you want to tell us about that? I would love to. So I'm working on season two of Survival of the Thickest. We're in the writer's room right now. It's dope. Oh my God. I'm also doing a second comedy special with Netflix, which has just been so fun. I just got off the road. Comedy is like where it started. 23 years in, thank God I age well because it takes a while. I also have a movie coming out May 17th with Alana Glazer that Pamela Adlon directed. And it's just like a rom-com to female friendship and adulting that I think is so just fun and important and a beautiful education. It's also hilarious. Also, um, Barbecue Showdown that was also nominated for NAACP Image Award is coming out for season three and um, another season in the circle. So yeah, thank you, Netflix. Uh, thank you, my kids. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's so exciting. Is there any story that you haven't told yet that's still in the arsenal that you're kind of waiting on? Yeah, I mean, memory is like a finicky bitch, right? Like, you don't even know that you've been through something until you're, like, hanging out with someone else or in the writer's room or talking about other people's personal experiences. And you're like, oh, my God, I did go through that and I forgot. So I don't have anything, like, in the back burner that I'm like, oh, this is something I can't wait to get to. Because I am such an open book, you know, I, I love being a truth teller, but all those things come up. Like, writing is very therapeutic. And when you're in therapy, it uh, comes up organically when it needs to, because a lot of times you forget just to get through. And that's also part of the process, too. So I wouldn't knock it either. 